If you're visiting Sydney, Australia and want the ultimate locals guide to Sydney, then this is the video for you. Hi, I'm Jay. And I'm John. And we're Bucket List Travellers, coming to you from our hometown of Sydney, Australia. And today's video, we have a special guest, Com. So Com's our friend from Germany, he's French, and we met him in Guatemala. And now he's in Australia and we're going to show him around. Hey guys. So let's do it. Sydney has so much natural beauty and what better way to enjoy it than with a waterfront walk. The Spit to Manly Walk on Sydney's northern beaches is a popular spot with the locals and has been recognised as one of the best attractions in the world. Also known as the Manly Scenic Walkway, this walk winds its way along the picturesque Middle Harbour from Spit Bridge to Manly Wharf. It takes around two to three hours to complete. However, we recommend allowing half a day as there are so many great photo opportunities and plenty of secluded beaches to stop at along the way. The traditional owners of this land were the Guyamagal people and there are plenty of areas of significance to see along the trail. Be sure to see the Aboriginal carvings at the Grotto Point Aboriginal engraving site. These well-preserved rock engravings are thought to be around a thousand years old. The beach is an important part of life for many Sydney siders. There are so many great beaches along the coast of Sydney. Manly Beach is a stunning stretch of beach with soft sand and great waves. We always take our overseas friends to visit Manly Beach when they're in Australia. We also recently spent the day in Manly with our friends and fellow YouTubers Katie met Chris. When it comes to beaches in Sydney, the most popular beach is probably Bondi Beach. However, in my mind, Manly's the best beach. Now, I am a little bit biased about it because it is my home beach, but if you don't believe me, come check it out for yourself. One of our favourite spots around Manly is Shelley Beach. It's just the next beach along from Manly Beach. It's a scenic walk to get there and you have these stunning views. Shelley Beach is a marine reserve. It's on Cabbage Tree Bay. So around here, it's great for snorkeling and swimming and soaking up the sun. One activity all Sydney visitors must do is take the Manly Ferry to Circular Quay. There are two different ferry services available. The Manly Ferry takes half an hour and the Manly Fast Ferry takes 20 minutes. Both options cost the same and provide amazing views of iconic Sydney landmarks like the Sydney Opera House, the Sydney Harbour Bridge and Luna Park Sydney. It's the perfect way to start your Sydney sightseeing. Even as Sydney locals, this scenic ferry ride always takes our breaths away. Once you're on this side of the harbour, you can't miss the most famous beach in Sydney, Bondi Beach. Located in Sydney's eastern suburbs, this beach is featured on the TV show Bondi Rescue. It's also the starting point for Sculptures by the Sea, the biggest free sculpture exhibition in the world, which is usually held around October and November each year. Even if you're not there for Sculptures by the Sea, you can still enjoy the iconic Bondi to Coogee Walk. This iconic coastal walk is another one of the great Sydney things to do, with plenty of beaches to stop by and enjoy along the way. The Blue Mountains Australia, located just outside of Sydney, is a popular destination for both tourists and locals. It's perfect as a day trip or as a short getaway. To get here, we recommend catching a train to Katoomba from Sydney Central train station. It's a scenic two hour train ride from Sydney. Katoomba is home to the famous Three Sisters rock formation that overlooks the Jamison Valley. It's a really breathtaking view across the Blue Mountains. The mountain range actually looks blue from a distance and this blue tinge is due to the oil droplets from native eucalyptus trees covering the mountains. The Blue Mountains are a bushwalker's heaven with many tracks to explore. One of the other major attractions alongside the Three Sisters is the giant stairway. Now it's 888 steps and it's a very long way down to the valley. So if you're up for a bit of a hike, then this is for you.
the Blue Mountains has lots of beautiful waterfalls. This is Lura Cascades. There are plenty of other waterfalls to see in the Blue Mountains. We recommend visiting Wentworth Falls. Just be mindful that you are walking in the Aussie bush and you'll come across plenty of Australian wildlife. That also includes venomous snakes, as we found out. However, don't be too alarmed as most animals will keep out of your way and if you don't bother them, they won't bother you. Okay, Com, so you've had a couple of days here now in Sydney. Uh, what's been your highlight? So I think my first highlight would be the uh, when you come into the harbour in Circular K with the Manly Ferry, you mm -hmm. know, so yep. we were doing that in a bad day, but even on a bad day it was amazing. So I can imagine like with the sun going down on the opera and, uh, and seeing the bridge and uh, so this was really something awesome. And my second highlight would be the scenic walk with you guys and, yep. uh, and when we had the different beaches and you know, like and we, just, we stopped and we went swimming and we went back on track and, and so it was really like a, a paradise, you know, like the, the, the water was so clear, so blue sky. Uh, yeah, so that was my first, uh, my two highlights basically of, uh, of our four days awesome. together. Yeah, the Manly to Spit walk is one of my favourites as well in Sydney, so you have to check that out when you're in Sydney. Definitely. So, What's been your biggest surprise? Have there been any surprises? Um, I was telling you also like the, the homes of the Australians, big beautiful homes I would say, like uh, the houses are huge and they're also like, most of them or some of them are, are like old style, you know, and even though it's a quite modern nation, country compared to the European countries I know, like I like that they kept the style of, uh, of the first years or the first uh, decades, let's say, and they are taking a super good care of their, of their houses as well. So, uh, and maybe the second surprise is, is how much the beaches, let's say, are part of your daily life. You know, like again, <laughs> like going back to the scenic walk, like it's like something natural for you. Oh, let's go for to the beach, you know. And uh, for me, beaches is really just vacation, but for you, it's your daily life. So that's quite amazing. Yeah, I think we're pretty lucky when it comes to that. Well, thanks so much for visiting Thank you us, Com. It's been for fantastic. Me. Yeah, great to show you our hometown. It's very great to see you again uh, in your in your home country and hometown. Yeah, and good luck with the rest of your travels. Thank you. If the great outdoors is not your thing, then there are plenty of other things to do in Sydney. In our next video, we'll explore what locals love to do in Sydney City. Make sure you subscribe and hit that notification button to stay tuned. We are Bucket List Travellers. And Coombe. <laughs> See you next time.